Hi beautiful people, how are you all doing today? My name is Mark and I love making things sweet and in style. It's been a lovely day and my chickens are so excited, so am I. I'm going to share with you a very easy orchid that you can make out of a rose petal cutter. And it's none other than this very beautiful cymbidium flower. Okay, you see that? It's very pretty. But before we start, if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And this is where I do anything and everything creative. So what are we waiting for? Let's start! Okay, so for today, we'll be making cymbidium flower or orchid. So you can actually use these cutters which you can buy from Wilton. This is specifically for cymbidium orchids. But what I'm going to show you today is how to make a cymbidium flower using only cutter number two of the rose petal cutter okay so first to start off i have here a paste that is color peach to achieve this you mix very little red and very little yellow you need to make the paste pink first and then add very little yellow okay so first tap cornstarch to your working area put the paste and then gently we will roll okay so just roll it out in one direction it should be thin enough that you can still insert wire number 28. Okay. The thickness should be like this. Okay, so we need to cut you need to cut at least six pieces of this size. Okay, for the size of the paste, this is 3.5 centimeter by 2. 0.5 centimeter okay the size of the cutter is 2.5 centimeter by 3 centimeter okay so i need to cut six pieces of this one okay so right now we'll be making the center of the cymbidium orchid so first you need a paste same color as your petals it should be around two centimeter okay so this is a two centimeter size ball so gently knead and massage and smoothen it out on your palm. Okay, just like so. And then you need to roll it. Roll it on your palm. Okay, and make one side smaller. Okay. Should be like so. And then gently we will manipulate the shape. You need to pinch this end. Okay, you see that? And pinch it more. Okay. So it should look like so. See that? And then after that, you need to get your wire number 28. Okay, and then we create a loop. You can also use 24 for this one. And then you have to insert it on this part. Okay, and then don't forget to lock. Dab cornstarch so it's not that sticky. Okay, so we need to lock this. Again, I'm lightly bending it. I'm flatting. See that? I made it a little flat. Okay, and then I pinch it here. Just like so. See that? And then, normally what I do, if you have, um, using the cutter also, I'll just create an indention here. Okay, just create a line. See that? It should look like so. Okay? And then you need to let this dry and then later we will do the other petals. Okay, so right now we'll be making the lip of the orchid. So first put your paste here and then dab with cornstarch so it won't stick. Okay, so gently we will pull First, the right side, okay? Just like that. And then go on to the left side. It should be at least equal the poles that we are making. Okay, just like so. And then after that, you need to pull the outer part. I mean the upper part, okay? Then you have to make it as wide as you can. Take note when you're doing this, you're also thinning out the petal. Okay, so after that, brush off the excess cornstarch. 
So you'll have something that looks like so. Okay. So what we do now, you need to cup this going inwards. Just like that. And then, using your barbecue stick, we need to create lines. Okay, inner going out. Okay, just like so. And then we need to bend this over. And we insert wire number 28. Okay, so don't forget to loop the ends. Okay, so you need to insert the wire only until here. Okay, so insert the wire until here only. At the middle, okay. Don't forget to lock. And then we need to bend this slowly. Also, you would want to frill this. Okay, it should be freely. So what we'll do now, you need to get the center that we made earlier. So we need to connect the two pieces together. So you need to get your edible glue. For the edible glue, I'll put it on the description box below. Okay. So get a very, very small amount. So you need to put glue here. Okay. And then we will attach them together. Just like so. And then gently we will bend this a little. See that? Okay, and then the two pieces of floral wire are together. And then gently we will add glue here. Okay. Because we need to attach it here and also the other one. So you have to do it on both sides. Okay. And you need to close it here. Okay. So I'm pressing in glue. This is what it looks like. See that. And then we will open this one. Sometimes it helps if you actually put your thumb here. Okay. So it should be like so, okay? And then we will open this a little bit using the end of your brush or if you have a stick so it should look like so okay and then later on we'll be painting the details so you have to let this dry also you can already put a floral tape here so it will be very clean okay see that okay so right now we'll be working on with the petals so what i have here is one of the five pieces that we cut earlier so basically what you want to do, you need to dab cornstarch first, okay? And then the measurement of this one, again, this is 3 cm by 2.5 cm, okay? 3 cm by 2.5. So what you want to do now, we will expand and manipulate the shape. Okay, so gently I am pushing towards the side that is not pointed, okay? And then I'm thinning out the edges. I'm avoiding the center because... That is where we will be inserting our wire, okay? See that? I'm just going around the edge. Okay, and you need to make this at least semi-pointed also. See that? Okay. Also, when you're doing this, you're actually thinning out the petals. Okay, so for the size, it should be 5 cm, okay? It should be 5 cm by 3.5, okay? It's 5 cm by 3.5. And then what you want to do next, you need to get your wire number 28, okay? And make a loop at the end. And gently, we will insert. Okay? So my wire is only until here, okay? It's only about one centimeter, okay? It's until here only. And then next, we'll zoom in because we need to create veining using our barbecue stick. Okay, so from here, just create a line. Okay, so when you're creating a line, it should be slightly curved, okay? So starting from one end, going to the other end. See that? It's all 
slightly curved. Okay, and then after that, you need to get a spoon. Okay, so you need to lay it flat on the spoon so that we will get the cupped shape. Okay, just like so. So you need to let this dry for about 10 to 15 minutes and then later we will assemble. Okay, so right now we are done with the center that we did earlier. So while our petals are drying, we have to add details to our lip. Okay, so normally there is like a small two pieces of um, an embossed material here. Okay, so we have to mimic that. So here I have a small ball, same size as the same color as the flower that we are making. So this is peach. The size is 0 0.5 centimeter. Okay, so first you need to roll it on your fingers. Okay, to make it a little bit oval, just like so. And then you need to pinch this, okay? Just pinch it, see that? And then what I will do, I'll get very little amount of edible glue, okay? Dab the excess on your hands, and then I'll put it here, okay? Just there in the middle, okay, see that? It's out of focus. Okay, so I placed edible glue here, very little, not too much. And then first you get one of your small circles and you need to place it there, okay? It would help if you have a pair of small tweezers. Okay, I'm getting my tweezers. I'll just attach it just right there, okay? We have one. Then you need to get the other one and we'll put it there also okay see that it should look like that and then what I will do using my barbecue stick I will flat this further so the one here should be facing here okay so I'll flat it just like that okay and then this one should be facing a little here. You can also use your hands. Okay, but I prefer using a barbecue stick here. Okay, it should look like so. You see that? And then you can actually press it more. And then later we will add colors and dust. Once this is fully dry. Okay. Should look like so. See that? That's how it should look like. Okay, so right now the center is done. You see that? It's already dry, so we'll be adding our dust. So I have here color yellow dust. So first, I'll add yellow dust on the center. Okay. And also on the sides, you need to put color yellow. So for the dust that I'm using, this is rainbow dust, but you can also use sugar flare or any other dust available specifically for flowers. So you see that I added very little yellow and then this side, the top part, I'll add very little pink. Okay, so I have my color pink here. You need to use your other brush, okay, specifically for color pink. Okay, see that. So I'll add pinks here on top. Okay, so if there is an excess, it's okay because you can always brush it out using your bigger makeup brush. See that? It's coming to life. So right here at the bottom, I'll just add very little pinks. Okay. Always remember that when you're dusting flowers, it should be completely dry because if it's not yet dry, you will ruin the petals, okay? So you see that. And then right now, we'll be adding the red details. So what I have here is gel color, color red, okay? And then I'll add very little water on one part and then using my very fine brush, Okay, I'll just get very little reds. 
because we need to add detailing on this part. Okay, so for you to do that, basically, if you look at the real flower, there are like markings of reds here. Okay, so just gently dab in. Okay. So you just need to use the end of the brush to dab in the pigments of colors, okay? So first, go on the sides, slightly fading going up, okay? Just like so, see that? And then you can actually go darker here at the center. So it should be like a combination of so many dots because that's how it looks like in the real flower. See that? And then slowly fading going up. I really recommend you guys to invest on a very fine brush because you can actually use this on a lot of different flowers and also on painting and designing your cakes. Okay, just like so. Okay, so there you have it. This is how it should look like. And then we need to let this dry. And then after that, I'll show you how to dust each and every petal. Okay, so right now our petals are completely dry, so we need to dust them out. So as you can see, since I let it dry on the spoon, once I take this out, it's going to have that cupped shape, okay? That's really, really nice. So what you need to do, we need to get very little pinks, okay? So the end part should have pinks on it, okay? Just like so. See that? See the difference? So it needs to have very, very light pinks on the sides. Okay. By the way, guys, there are so many different kinds of Cymbidium Orchid. And there's a lot of colors. So my advice, take a closer look at the photos. And then you need to identify the color. So what I'm making is the peach colored Cymbidium Orchid. So once you have enough pink, on the side, you need to go with your color yellow dust and of course your brush specifically for yellow. You need to dust out yellow on the bottom part, okay? Just like that. So it has an inner glow, okay? So you need to do this on all the petals and then later we will assemble. Okay, so right now we are done with dusting all our petals. You see that? It's very colorful. And we need to assemble the flower already. So as you can see, I also added a very little reds on top to make it darker. So it's gonna pop. Okay, so the first thing you need is, but that is optional actually. First you need your uh, floral tape. So I'm using color green. So the first thing you need to do is you need to get one petal first. Okay. And put it just at the back of the flower. Just like so. Okay, and then we need to wrap this with floral tape. Okay, so as if you're just winding up a wire. Okay, and then you need to get another one. Put it at the right side, okay? Just like so. And then you need to get another one and put it on the other side. Okay. So now you already have uh, three petals all together. So you need to tie them up, okay? And then you can actually move this later once we are done adding floral tape, okay? And then now we'll add the last two petals. So I bend and I insert just under, just like that. And then I go around, okay? Then I insert another one. So it's okay if it's still moving because we haven't completely wrapped the entire wires. Okay, but later on you'll see once we're done wrapping, it 
it's gonna turn out great okay and then it should be at the same level okay so this should be a little higher just like so and then i continue wrapping okay and we need to continuously wrap and cover all the floral tape so it will be very clean okay so i'll get another bunch of tape and gently i'll just go around and cover this entire wire so it's going to be very clean and my chicken is saying hi to all of you guys okay so this is what we'll have so now you need to arrange your petals okay just like so and there you have it this is our very easy symbidium orchid see that it's very pretty you can actually add more details so normally what i do i get my the one that has paint on it so what i would do um since i have here a color that's very diluted i'll just add some details here okay see that but that is actually optional but you can also do that to make it more realistic okay so there you have it this is your symbidium orchid mm -hmm.